Praise God, praise God. This is Prophetess Deanna Dixon. I pray that you all are having a blessed day in the Lord. Give him honor and give him praise. You have to, excuse me, I just got the shower. Yes. Um, <laughs> a lot has been going on, a lot. However, I wanted to get up on here to encourage you and also ask of you okay so basically all this year for the rest of this year believe it or not i am booked miracles do happen that has never happened just keeping it real so i need a hundred of you all the ones that believe in my ministry i ain't look look the ones that we got to convince this ain't this is not for you I don't have the energy and all the time. <laughs> Those that hear it, feel the spirit of God to be moved. And I pray that you are. I have so many big things coming up. I'm not kidding. If I told you all, you would be like, oh, my God. But I do want to say something. When you see me on some of these platforms, don't think anything. Just know that I am doing ministry. And I don't know why I need to say that, but I needed to say that. So, and if I did not have a need, I wouldn't be on here asking. So, I need a hundred of you all to sell just fifty dollars. I really need it. Um, there's a lot of engagements coming up, a lot of interviews. You know, um, most of it is paid for, but you know, the extras, this and that. I'll be flying a lot. I say, Lord, I have to get my mind mentally, physically, spiritually ready for everything. Uh, you know, and, and I want to encourage you all. We we so we pray. I've been praying for this my whole life. Let's be real. Then when it comes, it's like, oh my God, oh my God. This is where now the preparation that you are supposed to prepare for, mentally, physically, spiritually, because that's what it's all about. It's not about acting like you're a star, acting like you're a celebrity. It is about when you get in on these platforms, now you do God's job. And what I mean, let, let me refrain that. Not God's job. I don't want to be like the enemy, the devil. That's what got him in trouble. You do the job that God have ordained you to do. You do your mandate. Don't try to make a name for yourself. Don't try to be all this. No. God, what do you want me to say? God, what do you want me to do? Now, now remember, when you're in Rome, you got to do like Romans do to a certain point. So I just wanted you all to know that God has opened up doors. And I keep saying this for the ones that is going to come behind me. And God is going to bless you as well. Because this is not just about a Deanna thing. This is about a remnant thing. When God gets ready to bless you, don't open your mouth. I want to say something so bad because I'm, I'm so used to telling y'all. I'm just being real with you. And I am under contract. You can't. Some of these people do not play. I say something, that'll be it. I probably would not be on that stage. I'm just being real. I was like, oh, is this how it goes? This is how it goes. So the, the higher you go up, it, it, it's, it's more everything. It's everything, you guys. I'm not kidding. I, I got to stay more focused than I've ever stayed prayed up. That's why you haven't seen me on here. There is no way I could do what I'm getting ready to do without the power and the presence of God. I don't want to go by myself. The devil is a lie. God go before me and, and stay while I'm there in the presence and, and after and, and, and save and heal and deliver and set free. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. It's about the gospel. It's about the ministry of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, come on, somebody. I get happy. That's what it's about. It's not about, you know, thinking we this and we that. No. It's about touching people in their spirit. But you can only do that if you possess the spirit of God. And, and, and I don't know why I got to go here, but I'm going here. I noticed something. Long as God wasn't blessing me, people weren't worrying about me. Now I'm getting this and that. Can I tell you something? I'm not being arrogant. I'm so focused. I'll, I'll look through you. Keep going, no matter what people say. I remember probably last year I wouldn't have asked. Oh, I wouldn't have been on here. I'd have been like, oh, God, I don't want them to think I'm begging. How dare? And then God convinced me, then you can't do what I'm asking you to do alone. There's no way. And he say, and, and this is going to be a good one for you, too, when God asks you to do something. He said, how do I get things done? Through people. I'm going to say it again. How do God get things done? Through people. Mm -hmm. Somebody catch that. Somebody catch that. Don't let but no. Don't let anyone make you feel bad about what God asked you to do. And I mean that because at first I didn't want to do it. Started in January. I did not want to do that. When I came on here with that twenty-two, I was like, God, I don't want to be like them. The don't act like y'all don't know who them is. God said, Deanna, everybody that do it, I'm not only gonna bless you. 
But I'm going to bless them that do it for you because they, they're helping the prophet. They're helping my messenger. And, and, and here's the thing. He said, just don't use it for usury. What is usury? Something you ain't got no business for. Anytime you get people, you know, y'all better understand what I'm saying. I'm dropping nuggets. Anytime you get money from the people of God, you better watch how you use it. You better do what you say because God going to get you. Oh, come on, somebody. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. This is real up in here. This is not a game. So I'm dropping nuggets on you as well. Also, stay prayed up in this hour. Oh, I didn't understand why God made me do that. I guess the one for the youth and other people. The enemy is attacking so much in this hour. So much. I'm watching it. Family, friends. I just didn't say anything. And that's why I've been back here praying too. My aunt broke her neck. My aunt, the last one. My three, okay, my dad died last year. Y'all know that. And his two brothers. Well, all three brothers and it's her love. So last week, was it last week or week before last, she broke her neck. All I could do is pray. Because, you know, I'm all she got. So I was like, God. I need you to help her. I, I need you to, you know, my, her name is Aunt Christine. So it's a lot. It's a lot. And, and then my daughter got in an accident. Then I got in a car accident. I said, oh, hold up. I see what you're doing. You're trying to do this and that to try to throw me off. He's doing it to everybody. That's why I'm talking to you about it. I said, well, let me back up. And let me go up. Oh, come on, somebody. Write that down. Let me back up so I can go up. <laughs> Let me go to that threshing floor. Don't ever get so high that you don't go low. Come on, somebody. You better hit me up in here. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll be trying to. No, look, I can't do what everybody want me to do. Don't get so high that you can't go low. That's why. That's another reason. you Y'all know I usually do more lives and things of that nature. I've been having to pray on the backside because I see what's happening. Are you trying to hit my family? You're trying to hit me? Not trying. He's doing it. Okay. Let me pray more. Let me fast more. Let me back up off of social media and only come when you have called me and ordained me to say something that I'll do something. That's what time it is. I hear everything that's going on. Somebody just asked me today, why is the Supreme Court closed? I'm going to be praying on that, ma'am, because I'm not asking, answering anything without God. I'm going to say that again. I'm not answering anything without God. I can't do it. And you should neither, because then that's your opinion and God going to get you. Too many prophets are doing that in this hour. As a matter of fact, not just prophets. Too many people are God going with your opinion. Honey, that is not what God has called us to do. God has called us to pray, fast, listen for instructions, and then tell it. That's what we are called to do. That's what we are mandated to do. These are turbulent times. And I'll tell you one thing. I'll be getting up on here soon because I've been writing the notes of the things that he want me to say. It's some hard things. But I think you already know there's some hard things coming. So everybody, and, and I just got to keep it 100 like I always do. Everybody talk about houses, cars, and this and that. Honey, that's not going, that is not even going to matter in about a year or two when you see the transformation. You already seen the transformation of the United States or USA, may I say. New war order is here. You just don't feel it yet. You should fill it this gas. Every time they get water, the gas go up. I thought you knew that. So, so oh, I'm about to go. I'm about to go. <laughs> y'all know they're all on the same team, right? Y'all sitting up there. <laughs> they're all on the same team. The sooner you get that in your spirit, the sooner you're going to stop tripping over these people. They're all on the same team. Oh, I'm going to bring it. I'm going to bring it. There's only two teams, people of God, in case you don't know. The team of the kingdom of God and the kingdom of darkness. I don't know why y'all keep trying to divide it. That is the only division there is. Two teams. <laughs> my God, my God, my God. So, I pray y'all understand what time it is in this season. It's praying time. It's fasting time. It's watch how you treat your brother and sister time. It's watch how you treat your family time. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. He hitting family too. I'll back up. It doesn't, let me tell you something. Stop mistreating people. Stop mistreating your family. We all going through something. Your something may not be at my something, but your something is something. Watch the way you talk to people. Be mindful of how you treat people. Because what you sow, you're definitely going to have to reap. Period. End of story. Praying time. 
I've, I've barely been sleeping. I go to bed about, and that's the craziest thing. That's how I know things are shifting in my life. I've been going to bed at 8 o'clock. I have never in my whole entire life went to bed at 8 o'clock at night, getting up at 1, staying up all through the night praying, doing the same thing the next day. I'm like, oh, you are doing something different. And I don't understand it. I'm not going to lie and say I understand everything. I'm just rolling with it. And I, I, I'm, I, I be tired. Because think about it. If you're getting up at 1 and you're staying up all through the day and all through the night, by the time, yes, like last night I went to bed again. I think it was about 8 something or 9. I was like, God, what are you doing? I guess I don't have to know what he's doing. Just, just thank you, Lord. I'm reminded of the tabernacle. That's where we at. You know, the cloud of glory by daytime. The cloud of glory by daytime and fire at night. Move when he say move, just like that. And that's where we at. Move when he say move. Go when he say go. Shut up when he say shut up. Be still when he say be still. And it's going to be hard sometimes. Because especially if you're, you know, you're strong in the Lord, you want to do what you want to do. Our obedience is so important in this hour, people of God. Please, please understand that. And, and I keep saying this. Watch how you treat each other. God is watching. God is watching. How is it that you can act like hell and want to go to heaven? That's not going to happen. Stop playing. Stop playing. And God is calling his people home. Period. End of story. Y'all keep talking about somebody stole somebody. It is written. There's a date. There's two dates. Born and die. Ecclesiastes says it all. There's a time to born and there's a time to die. I don't think we understand the signs of the times. There's so much lawlessness. I mean, I see so much stuff that just hurt my heart, and I'm like, God. And I'm getting ready to do something here in Atlanta, and I, I'm going to ask everybody to come, those that can come. Y'all, you, y'all, they trying to cut me off. They, and that's another thing. Y'all should know. They do it on YouTube. They do it on Facebook. And I know why. I know I'm packing. I'm not trying to be arrogant. That's all I got is God. Let me say that again. That's all I have is the Lord. I'm not saying people don't love me. I'm just saying. He said, I'll never leave you or forsake you. You see, other people, they might like me today and, and, and crucify me tomorrow. But God said, I'll be with you, low always, even to the end. You better keep God first, Matthew 6, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. That means we're not even right. We're not right. And then all things should be added unto you. It took me 50 years to learn that one, how important that was. I'm just being honest. I don't have time to play games. It took me 50 years. It's okay to have things, but you better have God first. All right. So I'm going to get up off of here. But, um, and I missed you guys, but I'm on the wall. And I'm praying. Let me tell you something. I am not kidding. Let me tell you how I do it in case people don't want to know. And every time somebody sew, I take my hand over that cash out and I pray. Over social media, if you ask me to pray. I, and I pray right there. I don't be waiting like, oh, I'm up. No, 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 because I might forget. I'm be honest with you. So I pray right then and there. I'm calling out names. This is what we're called to do. The most greatest thing you possess is your soul and your spirit. And too many people are dying without God. So what is the first mandate of all of us? I don't care what title you are. Is to get people to say, what must I do to be saved? And keep yourself unspotted from this world. That's the first mandate. It's not money. It's not cards. It's not husbands. It's not wives. The first mandate is souls. And we're losing some. Because everybody won't be a star. Y'all know I keep it 100. I don't have time to play games. I just want to be a servant, truth be told. I used to want to be a star. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I think we all did looking at TV. When we was small or whatever, or even seeing pastors and leaders come up, it was a more of a celebrity thing. Now, I want God thing. I want, I want the spirit. You can have everything else. I'm serious. I'm not just saying that. I'm not saying I don't, want, I don't want this. I don't have goals, aspirations, but give me God first, please. Please don't take the Holy Spirit from me. Please don't leave me, God. Please keep me, God, in a right spirit and a right mind. And renew my spirit if I fall. Renew my spirit if I sin. That's how we got to pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Yes, there, um, there are other ways to sow. I have my website. I'm going to put it up on there. It's www.apostledeanadixon.com and then press the donation button. I will definitely do that. 
Um, thank you, huh? She said, I love your glasses. A lot of people don't like the little pointed, but I, these I have to wear 24 hours. So I figured I might as well do something I like. I like weird stuff, so we whatever. But um, God bless you all. And again, the most important thing, let's be praying in this hour. Let's pray and fast. And I know sometimes it's hard. It's hard to fast. Come on. Come on. You know I know. But we have to do it, even if it's half a day, and get back up if you fall. But right now, your family needs you. When they told me my aunt had broken her neck, I was so scared. I was like, God, you know, because we just lost, you know, she just lost all her brothers last year. So I know she's going through something. So our family need us more than ever to pray for them, not to pray on them, not to bash them. This is what I do. I don't know why I'm getting ready to say this. If I have a problem with a family member, I just back up. I'm not going to go talk about them to everybody else in the family, talk about them on social media, throw slings. Man, we all mess up sometimes. We all do things, all of us. None is perfect. That's the Bible I read. Not one, God says. Be merciful. Be forgiving. Forgive people. Back up if you got to. But remember, that's your family member. Remember that. Remember what God says. If you don't take care of your family, you're less than an infidel. That's real. Don't let this world, the world hates family. The world hates husband and wives. The world hates anything that's of God. That's why so much perverseness and lawlessness. But let me tell you what God said. God said, I'm bringing it back because I'm God. This is my world. Don't ever think they're running stuff. Remember Pharaoh. I, I let Pharaoh do this. Let him do all what he thought he was big and better enough to do. And in the end, I destroyed him. Hallelujah. That's the same fate. That's the same fate. That's the same fate, said the Lord. Hallelujah. She said, repeat the cash app. Um, it is a dollar sign. Prophet is DD. But I'm going to go ahead and put everything because I don't like um, trying to say it because then it might, you know, get misconstrued. So because I'm getting off of here. But um, taking care of my grandson. That's another thing. He He's sick this week. So it was like, I rebuke you, Satan. You back up off of my family. And y'all know I don't play with, with my grandson. I was like, oh, no. So we got to stay prayed up. That's what time it is, and I'm praying for you all. So God bless you. God keep you. Y'all know what time it is. Roll out soldiers, for that is truly who we are. God bless. All right, soldiers. Get on that wall. Stay on that wall. And your weapons of warfare are not carnal. Your tongue, stop that. Speak life. Speak life. Cause I don't know who I'm to speak life. Stop stop cursing. Stop acting crazy. You're a Christian. I don't know who that's for. Stop that. Can't be a Christian on Monday and Wednesday and Friday. And then Tuesday, Thursday, you whomever. Y'all stop that. That's not God. That that then seeped into the church. That's not God. God said, I am holy for for I am holy, you should be holy. In the story. And that's what God says. So with that being said. God bless you. God keep you. I love you all, and I truly do. I'm not just saying that. All right. God bless.